Hi, welcome to Wood Chip Board Working. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, walking stick. Um, I'll do a turning video of it uh, later, but today I'm just going to cut it out of a piece of four quarter maple uh, I've got right here. Um, so what I did was I took and laid out some patterns on a piece of plastic and cut my patterns out uh, to fit this. I got two, two different styles here that I'm going to work on. Um, so we're going to do this in my lathe upstairs in the garage. Um, so this will be a little bit of an interesting, uh, different type of video for us today. Um, so if you enjoyed all the videos I've put out here so far, I think this is number 13. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, share it with friends, you know, spread the word a little bit. Uh, my whole purpose of doing these videos is not only just to have fun, uh, maybe educate and show you kind of some of the different things that I do. Um, <clears throat> they're not that, not the traditional way of doing things. Sometimes I kind of stretch the envelope, what I find works best for me. So there's no rhyme or reason why I do my thing, my turnings or my uh, projects a little bit different than other people. It's just the tools that I have and it's the way I feel comfortable and what I enjoy doing. So with that, you know, like I said, please like, share, subscribe, send my videos to other people, uh, get this channel to grow a little bit more. And uh, let's get started on uh, doing a walking stick. So like I said, I'm up here in my garage. I got my Grizzly uh, bandsaw here, uh, my board here. Uh, I'm going to cut out a couple of couple of walking sticks here. Um, reason I don't call them canes anymore is because I had them at a craft show one time and an attorney walked up and was looking at them and uh, he recommended that I stop calling them canes because of liability reasons. In today's society, people will sue you over anything and everything. Uh, he said if somebody, you know, you sold somebody a, a walking stick as a cane and they use it and it breaks or they fall or slip or something like that, uh, they can come back and sue you because you become liable for it because you get you sold them a cane uh, in that manner. So he said he recommended a walking stick would be a better term. Uh, it's used to assist somebody in walking, uh, not necessarily leaning on things. So with that, we're going to build a walking stick today. So let's get started. I got my safety glasses on. I've got these earplugs here. I know band saws are not really loud, but... Uh, tend to use a uh, uh, earplugs on them because they do uh, squeak, squeech a lot, uh, squeal a little bit. Um, so these uh, are from Safety Solutions, uh, Stoffer Safety Solutions. And as you can see, um, they're threaded. So when you insert them in, you just stick them in and turn them like a nut and they fit right in there where the traditional one, you got to roll them in your fingers and get them to form fit and stick them in and then when they expand, that's how they do that. These here, you just kind of stick them in and turn them kind of like a nut and it goes right in there. So with that, let's get started on this and uh, see what we can get into. So I'm taking my board and uh, I'm going to cut this out. So let me adjust the camera so you can see the saw a little better. I apologize for that. Hopefully you'll be able to see, it, see the saw and what I'm cutting. Uh, again, this has got a short table on it, so I got a long board, so I gotta manipulate it a little bit, but let's try it and see what we get. So. <clears throat> I'm just cutting this out. Go nice and slow, letting the blade cut. Um, Uh, it's a small, small saw compared to the one I got downstairs. Got a quarter inch blade on it, a harder blade uh, with a harder guide system on it. it Works real well for me. I enjoy them. Uh, nice, easy, not forcing it, and the saw is doing pretty well. <clears throat> so. The tricky part's coming when uh, a lot of the board is hanging over to the other side. Uh, and uh, you find the saw tends to wander on the cut. Uh, check the uh, 
check the tension on your blade, number one. Number two, pick your guide. See how it's starting to wander here a little bit. I think that's because I've got so much weight hanging over the edge. And I'm having to hold it. So... So that's one. I'm going to pause it one I'm going to cut my second one out here. This here. And I'll come back cut that other piece off. And I'm going to do it in two parts, one can say. Normally I probably would run a dust collector on this to help check the sawdust out, but it's hard to hear in the video. So I'm not running my dust collector on this right now. Split this one and make it easier on me. I got my four canes pretty well cut out. I'm gonna finish up cutting them out, trimming them up a little bit, and then we'll go down and we'll do some sanding on them. So stay tuned. All right, well, welcome back. I uh, got them all cut out here. Um, 
So I've got them all roughed out, everything. So now we're going to do them, sand them. I'm going to use my drum sander and we're going to sand away. So I got my dust mask on here and we'll get started sanding. So let's have some fun. Your plugs in. And here we go. I'm just going to shape these. I'm just going to roughly just shape them on my line. Maybe closer so you can see what I'm doing. There, now maybe you can see a little better. Main thing I want to do is get rid of a lot of the saw marks on the band saw. As you can see, you got all them marks in there. I'll smooth it out. It's going to be a long process here. Normally this would be hooked to my dust collector. As you can see all the dust coming out of it. So I might just kind of pause it once I get to the end here. You get the idea of what I'm doing. And then uh, I'll turn my dust collector on. And uh, we'll finish them off. I'll hit the camera there. Now, if anybody's like me, you get a little impatient when you see people doing stuff you already know how to do, and you're like, okay, go to the next step, go to the next step. And that's the tendency what happens. So, if somebody's not watching me do a lot of sanding, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and we'll pick up when I get done here. All right, so welcome back. Um, we just did the rough sanding on the outer edge of it. So now I want to chamfer the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip my table on my sander down just a, uh, somewhere like that. And I'm going to use this and I'm going to sand this outer edge here on this and then we'll finish up sanding and then we'll finish it for you. So I just want to lightly get through that. Just taking the corner off is all I'm doing. take that edge off and then all the way around. I'll do all four sides and then we'll be back in a second. 
right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a little hand sanding now. Um, so I got my uh, quarter quarter sheet palm sander here, and I tend to like these because I can the sandpaper is easy to get, easy to do, and uh, I just tend to like them. So we're just going to do a lot of hand sanding here. So we're just. back and I'll show you what I do to finish it. All right, welcome back. Uh, we'll finish our sanding. I'll show you a little thing that I tend to like to do. Um, wipe it down uh, best I can with my hand and I stick it up to the light and look at it from an angle and you'll see anything that you've missed. Uh, there's a mark right there, so I'll sand that real quick. Doesn't take much. See, like that disappeared. Uh, I think I got a mark right there. Oh yeah, other side, it all looks good. All right, so uh, I'll take you out and show you my finishing, and then we'll go from there. So I get rid of my dust mask here, um, and then we'll go from there. So hang tight. All right, one of the things I should have done earlier and I forgot to do it, I want to draw a hole for a string so I'm going to drill it about right in the middle. And as you can see, I'm just going to drill a pilot hole first. Okay, so I got my pilot hole. Now I've got me a quarter inch um, Forstner bit. The reason I drill the pilot hole is I'm going to drill from both sides. And I want the point to sit in that hole. So as you can see, there's a little tiny hole there. And I'm going to put my point in there. And I'm going to drill about halfway through. I don't want to drill all the way through because I'll punch it out. And I'll turn around and I'll go from this side where my pilot hole is. And I'll drill the rest of the way. That way when I drill through, I'll meet in the middle. And I don't punch it out. So you get a nice clean cut there. Then what I want to do is I want to chamfer that just a hair. So I got this, uh, it's like a whole bit. I'm not sure, a different size bit. And all I want to do is chamfer it. So I stick it in there. And just on the edge, both sides. And 
and that takes care of that. See, now I got a nice little hole for my rope. And uh, eventually what I'll do is I'll wrap some string around here. But I'm going to finish it first, and then I'll put the string around it later. So uh, basically, we're done with this. Done with these. I'll go get my finish, and we'll get started finishing it. All right, so welcome back. We're going to do a little finishing here, and I'm just going to use um, some polyurethane wipe-on poly on it. So first of all, what I want to do is take my piece, and uh, I wipe it down with denatured alcohol. I got it in this little bottle here, and uh, that will do that. So I'm going to tip you down so you can see what I'm doing. There. So I just take a little bit of denatured alcohol on a rag, and I just basically wipe it down. It gets all the dust off of it. And normally I like to finish in my other room because uh, this room's full of dust all the time. So I like to finish, but since I'm doing a video, I thought I would finish it right here because there's not very good light over there to uh, film a video. So, I'll just do it right here, and we'll finish it, and I'll take it over there and lay it over there to dry. I usually put, um, you know, anywhere from four to four to five coats of polyurethane on it, and that makes it nice and durable, um, and uh, it's not watertight, but it does help resist the water. So wipe it down good with denatured alcohol. And the reason I use denatured alcohol, it evaporates pretty easily. Um, won't affect the finish at all. And usually the first coat of finish usually uh, absorbs pretty good into the wood to begin with. So, and I got me a little cat food container here. So I just pour a little bit of that in the thing and it shouldn't take much to do. I take my little rag, dip it in there, and you can see the color of the wood right now. When you put that on there, it just brings out the beauty in the wood. Uh, and you see all the beauty in that wood. In the first coat, usually it sucks up quite a bit. Um, I'm going to make sure you do the end pretty well because that's open grain, the end grain. Just like I said, you just wipe it on there real good. And you have to be pretty generous with it. It ain't going to hurt because it will absorb into there pretty good, especially the first coat. You can see how that brings out the grain in it. And I really like using polyurethane on stuff that is not going to be food contact. Uh, stuff that is food contact, uh, contrary to what a lot of people say, I like to use coconut oil because it's a uh, food grade coconut oil. And uh, I really like it. And then just take the rag and just go through and rub everything, smooth it all out. If you wear gloves, uh, you won't leave fingerprints, obviously. Um, and uh, don't ask me how I know that because I didn't rob a bank last year. But uh, that's it. So that is our walking stick. I'll let that dry for about 24 hours and I'll put another coat on it and we'll go from there. So that being said, um, you know, please like, share, subscribe, and uh I'm going to do a video here shortly on a bunch of projects and finishing them up and showing you what my final steps are on a lot of the projects. So stay tuned and enjoy. God bless. And I would tell you to make a little man glitter, but uh, unfortunately I don't want any in the air right now with this. So have fun. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts are in the comments below. And uh, we'll continue, and we'll see you on the next round. The next one will be a video on turning a cane or walking stick on the lathe. So that, look forward to that one. Have a good day.
It's shut off. I won't shut off with my gloves. I gotta take my gloves off.